commercial movie? I think this is so commercial that I've actually said to them that uh, I don't really think it should be in the Cannes Film Festival because it's much too commercial. In fact, I'm hoping that it's much too commercial for Cannes. Tomorrow night, I'll be walking up the steps with my cast and the producers of History of Violence, the famous red steps to the Palais des Festivals in Cannes, where we'll all be shaking, we'll be terrified. There'll be a wall of photographers, each one standing on a number. You can have an epileptic fit from all the flashes that hit you. And it's about 10 to 3 in the morning. And uh, I'm here to look at the print that's going to be shown tomorrow night to check the brightness of the screen, the sharpness of the projection, and the quality of the sound, the level of the sound. They're very precise about that here. It's really wonderful. We'll go into the uh, projection booth and talk to the projectionist who will actually be projecting the film tomorrow night. You can see it's a big place with a lot of seats. The seats are famous for clacking loudly when people walk out of your movie in anger, which you know, has happened to me, particularly with, with Crash. And sometimes it encourages the rest of them to leave, too. So it can be pretty brutal. Ah, il a pris tes fesses en photo. What do you think, Caroline? You know, this is the law of the festival. It's an exceptional authorization. But for Mr. Cronenberg, exceptionally. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. It's the first time. Yeah, yeah, it's the first time. Yeah, it's a premiere. This is my photo journalist's look because I am going to shoot a little photo diary of me and Ken for a French premier magazine. So it's the first time I've been doing this. It's going to distract me from focusing too much on the competition and on the journalists and on the reviews. Uh, give me a little weird objectivity. Because why the hell not? I could have slept an extra two hours. So you finally got an honest job? Hey. Hello. Hello. Wait a minute. Did you, guys, did you guys meet cool people? I met some very cool people. My favorite director in the world. Before I met him, I wrote the script that uh, apparently intrigued this gentleman enough that he came in, fixed it, and here you are. Filmed it, and here I am. Kind of excited for the whole red carpet walk. I went this morning at like 6 a.m. Good. I took a walk there. Did you? Yeah, and the security guard let me there in my jeans and sneakers. You know, you're no stranger to Cannes. It's such a big festival. What's it like for you? Kind of a circus that I wouldn't go to unless I had a good reason. But David Cronenberg, I would follow to the ends of the earth, even to Cannes. It's middle America. But I think there's a tension, there's an undertone, a taste that you can feel that something's not quite right. But you also suggest is it available because he killed somebody and took his identity? You know, there, I mean, it, there are many ways that it is kind of funny in it. You believe in evolution, which not everybody in America does anymore. And you can see that we struggle to deal with our history of violence because we are perhaps the only animals in the universe who can imagine an ideal that doesn't exist. You have to have a very complex Without a doubt, it was the final scene in the movie. And it's one of the last scenes we shot. She's like, I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was about 40 interviews, print and television, one after the other after the other. And I still seem to think I know what I'm saying, so that's important. Question over there and question over here. A question for Mr. Cronenberg. What is this dark, violent, sexual complex, and how is that related to your idea of violence in general? <laughs> Sex and violence have always gone very well to me. It's like bacon and eggs. <laughs> and if you look at 
the history of cinematic violence, you will see that there's a long one. During the press meeting, all the violent scenes, the audience was clapping and uh, feeling really good. I'm not surprised that the audience would applaud the, the violence, um, because I wanted them to be complicit in it. I wanted them to be involved in it. Uh, because I, I guess you have to ask them though, after the after the movie's over how they feel about their complicity in those violent acts. Because um, if 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 it's done in such a way that the audience is repulsed and, and held outside the movie, then then I, I I've actually lost the opportunity to to deliver to them the 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 paradox of enjoying something that morally you find reprehensible. I was tempted to try and get my old double-breasted tux redone, but I ended up buying a new one. We're really the first serious big screening of this movie, and uh, it's a pretty public place to find out that your movie doesn't work, if it doesn't. Et voici donc l'équipe de A History of Violence. Son réalisateur, Monsieur David Cronenberg. Son actrice, Maria Bello. Avec, également avec nous, Monsieur William Hurt sur les marches. Et puis, vous avez peut-être découvert ses grandes et belles moustaches. Vigo Mortensen est avec nous. Would you like to see the movie again? We can play it now. <laughs>